Best coding laptops. This is a very debatable topic, but yet there are some laptops which are specifically made for coding itself. Now, which are those laptops? If I give you the direct list, it won't be relevant in the six months itself and it won't add any knowledge to you as well. Now, if I tell you how to choose a specific laptop, then you are very, very free to go and the knowledge is also relevant in the coming years together as well. Choosing some of the basic things with your common sense is a good display, which is good for your code readability and code viewability a long battery life in a laptop, all the long hours of coding that you intend to sit on but never do so. But again, you should have a good keyboard in the laptop itself for long hours of typing which you intend to sit on. That are all the basic things. If you never knew these three points, consider them when you're buying the laptop. Apart from this, I would like to add some of the points that are most relevant than this as well. Buy a laptop which is having a neural engine in within itself. Now, what is a neural engine? It is a specific hardware. To be more specific, it is a specific processor used for machine learning, artificial intelligence and model training itself. According to apple.com, their neural engine can perform 6 billion operations in a single second. Now, what so much of power is for? To unlock Face ID. A neural engine into a laptop promises you that all your code compiling and the code editing is done in a very smooth manner. Just like if you take a look at the Apple SEOs and the Silicon, there are specific engines for specific work. Like if you want to encode and decode the video, there are video encoders which are known as media engine. In the same way, this neural engine is meant for coding. Now if you are code compiling, algorithm, reasoning, artificial intelligence, all of these things are handled by the neural engine. That is why my suggestion is get a processor which has a neural engine within itself which will compile your codes at very very strong speeds. Moving on further, the code compiling and code editing heavily relies on the single core performance of the laptop itself. Now which brands are ahead in the single core performance? Of course, the A Intel and the Apple itself. The Intel with its 12th gen of processor has so, so much so capable single core performance that it outperforms any of the AMDs in the single core performance itself. Not to mention it did outperform the M1 silicon as well but now we have an M2 which is right on another level which I am using right away. Not to forget that the Intel is coming with a 13th gen processor itself which is only the desktop processors are out as of making this video but as soon as the 13th gen laptop processors come out We'll be having a review on our channel, so make sure to subscribe for that. Moving on further, the AMDs are very excellent performing in the multi-threaded market itself. So stay away from the AMDs. You can get the AMD processors, but you have to compromise a little bit on the single core performance as well. Coming on to the beast of the processor in the single core performance, that is the M2 Silicon. Take a look at this Passmark website where I check the single core performance of all the processors almost available in the world, Apple's M2 Silicon stands out with 4000 plus of score. Just imagine how massive this is. It is leaving behind the Threadrippers of the world, the Xenons of the world. Apple's M2 Silicon is so much so capable in single core performance itself. Moving on to the next topic, pick a laptop which has at least 16 gigabits of RAM because 16 gigs is usually required when you're opening the huge amounts and the large code compiling itself. This might be the future proof plan of yours as well. Like four or five years, you will be using a specific machine. You don't want any limitations on the RAM as well. Even if you're buying just 8 GB of RAM, make sure that it is upgradable up to 16 gigs in the near future. As I mentioned earlier, choosing a good display should have an IPS panel because this IPS panel is sharp and clear which makes it better for viewing the content. Battery life should be around 6 to 8 hours of the real world usage. But if you have 6 to 8 hours of real world usage, that is an absolute killer in my opinion. A good keyboard is must in a laptop but a good keyboard comes in a very very expensive laptop if you can't afford one go with a regular keyboard on the laptop but make sure to get a comfortable and a good keyboard from the external sources itself here is a list of laptops that you can buy right now in a couple of months as this is the christmas months and the holiday season you might find some discounts because a lot of companies will be launching their new products so do keep an eye on the ads as well beginning with my list the first one is the dell inspiron 3511 which comes with 
कोर आई थ्री प्रोसेसर इलेवन जेन एट जी बी ऑफ रैम वन टेराइट प्लस टू फिफ्टी सिक्स ऑफ एन बी एम एम डॉट टू एस एस डी विच इज गुड इन माई ओपिनियन एफ एच डी पैनल परफेक्ट इफ यू आर अंडर द बजट ऑफ फोर्टी थाउजेंड नाउ इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन बाइंग द सेम लैपटॉप लिंक सर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन प्लीज डू नॉट फर्गेट टू चेक दम एज वेल द नेक्स्ट वन इज एसूस वीवो बुक फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू विथ फिफ्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स इंचेस ऑफ टच डिस्प्ले सेल्फ Yes, you heard me right. This is a touch display. The full review of this laptop is on my channel. Uh, the links are in the description and in the i button as well. Please do go ahead. Comes with i3 12th generation of processor. As I mentioned earlier, the 12th generation of processor. Right? What it has? Just remember them and go buy the laptops of your choice itself. Comes with Intel Core i3 1220P 12th generation. A very thin and light laptops, 8 GB of RAM, 512 of NVMe SSD, Iris X E graphics, which is absolutely a good machine. Moving ahead, the third position we have HP Pavilion 14, 12th generation Core i5. Obviously, in Dell as well, you will get the 12th generation of processor, which is absolutely good machine. But HP Pavilion is a little bit less costed, so that's why I'm including it on the third place right over here. The HP Pavilion 14 12th Gen Core i5 comes with 16 GB of RAM, 512 of NVMe SSD, IPS panel, <coughs> and whatnot. Everything you need is present in the HP Pavilion 14 12th Gen Core i5 itself. Absolutely good choice if you are going for one. Please let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite laptop in the 12th gen market itself. Moving on further, the fourth on our list is the Dell Inspiron 3520 laptop. This is an Intel i5 1235U processor. Absolutely good processor in my opinion. A little bit concerned about the build quality itself. Apart from that, if you are under the budget of 55,000. an absolutely killer machine in my opinion moving on further this is my personal favorite and that is dell vastro 5620 i have reviewed this complete laptop on my channel a few months ago which is an absolute killer video apart from that i did compare vastro 5620 and vastro 5625 The comparison video is also on my channel, so make sure to watch them all. Comes at a price of seventy six thousand rupees, coming with a sixteen gigs of RAM, five one two GB of NVMe M dot to SSD. Absolutely good machine in my opinion. As we are moving down the line, there are some beast of a machines, and I have also included the gaming laptops for your model training in ML itself. Moving on further, the sixth laptop on our list is the Dell Inspiron five six two zero, which has a thermal problems within. itself the inspiron 15 is not one among them this comes with a 16 gb of ram 512 gb of nvme m.2 ssd absolute good in my opinion now if you are on a very little budget then i would also recommend you to check the i3 variant of this inspiron series itself what a machines those are absolutely good in my opinion Moving on further, we have a gaming laptop Acer Aspire 5 gaming i5 12th generation and the graphics card here is 2050. This 2050 card is little bit unique. I have not tested this card yet. I hope so the Acer Aspire 5 is really good laptop in my opinion. The eighth on our list is the Asus Zephyrus Z14 which is an absolute killer machine. Here I have included the Ryzen variant of the processor as well. Somewhat, if you need for gaming and coding on the both the hands, and trust me when I say this has one of the best keyboards and one of the best batteries in the gaming laptop industry itself. I have been testing the next review video will be on the Zephyrus Z14 itself. I have it in my office lying around. The ninth on my list is the Asus Tough Gaming A15 is the model what we are talking about. It is coming with a Ryzen 7. 6800h and an RTX 3050 which is costing around 95000 in my opinion but if you are into gaming and coding and machine learning then this is going to be the laptop which i would recommend you since it is high on the pricing it should have been on 8 zephyrus should be on the 9 Now the tenth and the most powerful of all of them, reaching our maximum threshold of the budget itself, around eighty-eight to ninety thousand rupees, you will find a MacBook Air M1, which is an absolute good machine in terms of worth for a price. If you are good on your budget, there is a good keyboard. This is nicer display. Battery life is really stunning with eighteen hours of battery life. Show me a laptop which can do that. No, right? Absolutely good machine. Hit the subscribe button and join the family right away, and we will catch you in the next one.